Good morning students. We are discussing water resource engineering and hydrology. We are learning drought management and water harvesting. Well, we are starting with what is drought, how we can define the drought. Well, a drought is an extended period of months or a year when a region notes a deficiency in its water supply whether on the surface or in the underground water well generally this occur when region receives consistently below average precipitation so the drought can be defined as a condition of water deficit sufficient to have an adverse effect on the vegetation animals and man over a sizable area well the drought can be prevented it can be mitigated it can also reduced okay so if all work together to solve this problem then drought is not a disaster but it is a management issue okay so uh, now uh, we will discuss about a few types of droughts while well, those types uh, are first is a meteorological drought well a meteorological drought is expressed uh, on the basis of degree of dryness in uh, comparison to some normal or some average amount and the duration of the dry period it is about when there is a prolonged period with less than average precipitation well this type of drought is generally defined by comparing the rainfall in a particular place and at a particular time with the average rainfall for that particular place well meteorological drought leads to a depletion of soil moisture and this has an impact on the crop production well uh, we only consider the reduction in rainfall amounts and we don't take uh, into account the effect of the lake of water on the water reservoir when we try to define this meteorological drought well it is usually precedes the other kind of drought the intensity and the duration are the key characteristic of meteorological drought well the second type that is the hydrological drought well hydrological drought is brought about when the available water reserves in sources such as the aquifers lakes reservoir rivers those fall below the statistical average value it is associated with the effect of period of precipitation shortfall on the surface and subsurface water supply rather than with the precipitation shortfalls well hydrological drought has a, has four components such as magnitude its duration severity and the frequency of occurrence of precipitation well hydrological droughts usually are noticed uh, in some time after the occurrence of meteorological drought and the agricultural drought because before precipitation deficiencies are detected in the reservoir groundwater and other components of the hydrologic system as a result impact of hydrological drought are out of phase with impact of other drought types also water in the hydrological storage system such as reservoir rivers and groundwater often is used for the multiple and competing purpose further complicating the sequence and quantification of impacts water use is affected by uh, drought can include the purpose as varied as power generation uh, flood control irrigation drinking water industries and recreation while talking about the agricultural drought agricultural drought occurs when it is when there is not enough water available for a particular crop to grow at a particular time so this drought doesn't depend only on the 
amount of rainfall but also on the correct use of water for the irrigation well imagine a period of low rainfall where water is used carelessly for the irrigation and other purpose under this circumstances the effect of the drought become more pronounced than it was before so agricultural drought is typically seen after the meteorological drought when the rainfall decreases but before a hydrological drought when the water level in the reservoir or the river may decrease okay so agricultural drought affect the crop production while the last that is the socio economical drought while the socio economical drought associates the supply and demand of some economic good or reservoir with elements of meteorological hydrological and agricultural drought while in socio economic drought deficiency of precipitation are linked directly to the supply of some commodity or economic good while uh, increases in population can uh, alter uh, substantially the demand for this economic goods over the time so the incidence of socio economic drought can increase because a change in the frequency of meteorological drought a change in societal vulnerability to water shortage or the both so next we will discuss about the causes of drought well the fall that is the amount of water vapor in the atmosphere well amount of water vapor in the atmosphere is the most important cause of drought as it creates precipitation the more rain sleet hail and snow can occur where there are moist low pressure air system if there is an above average presence of dry high pressure then less moisture is available to produce the precipitation because dry high pressure air system cannot hold as much as the water vapor okay the next that is the shifting of air masses well when the winds shift air masses and warm dry continental air moves over an area as opposed to cooler moist air masses the area suffered a drought the third that is the cold and warm water ocean currents then unusual currents of cold and warm water in the ocean can also create a high pressure system in the pacific ocean a warm water current known as the e nino brings a low pressure system that causes the hurricanes and other violent storms to the north america but in india it affects inversely that means that this e nino brings the drought in the india and this hurricanes may uh, produce hurricanes may lead to a flood system the fourth one that is the mountain well higher mountain ranges near a ocean are also responsible for the drought on the leeward side of the mountain moisture loaded wind blowing from the ocean surface to the land which strikes the barriers like mountains or some rise ups then it becomes colder and the vapor condensed into the rain on the windward side so at such case the leeward side will get dry okay so there may be possibility of a drought at the leeward side the fourth that is the human activity well human activity can directly trigger the bad things such as the defore deforestation for agricultural over farming or excessive irrigation construction of buildings etc so these all are the main made activity that which is the human activity and which may lead or which may trigger the drought the fourth that is the global warming overall global warming will result in increased world rainfall along with the drought in some areas and flooding and erosion in the others so these are the causes of drought now we'll see the effects of the drought well drought produces a large number of impacts 
that affect the social environmental and economical standard of living its effect spread far beyond the physical effect of the drought itself while well, water is integral to produce the good and provide certain services well some direct impacts or direct consequences of drought are reduction in the crop yield reduction water levels increase the livestock and will and wildlife death rates damage to wildlife and fish habitat increased prices for food unemployment and the migration so these are the some direct impact of the drought well also there are many uh, other effects of drought such as for such as economic well economic effect leads to loss of national economic growth damage to crop quality it also loss uh, there may be also the loss to recreational and tourism industry the loss of uh, hydroelectric powers loss of navigation of uh, rivers and canals so uh, this may be the economical effect of drought to the country the next that is the environmental effect well environmental effects such as the uh, increase the uh, desertification the damage to the animal species also um, then uh, reduction and gradation of fish and wildlife habitat lack of feed and drinking water it may also lead to disease various disease uh, increase in predation loss of wildlife increase some stresses to endangered species damage to the plant species increased number of severity of fires and also wind and water erosion to the soil so this may be the environmental impact of drought and the last that is the social effect of drought that is food shortage loss of human life from food then mental and physical stresses water user conflicts political conflicts social unrest public dissatisfaction then inequality in the distribution of drought relief then loss of cultural sites reduction of reduction in the quality of life of people then increased also the poverty so these are the very dangerous effect of drought the main three uh, effects that is the economic environment and social which cover almost everything so we are taking this till topic thank you so much students for your kind attention i hope you understand this topic thoroughly i will see you in the next lecture